hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be like a little chit chat i feel like i haven't posted on my channel in a little while i mean it hasn't been that long but i was really aiming for like those two videos a week but i can't wait to share with you guys why i haven't really been able to film and we'll get into that a little bit later maybe not in this video because once everything is done then i'll be able to tell you exactly what i've been up to so i can't wait for that and for those of you who are new my name is maddie welcome to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please give me a thumbs up at the end of this video if you guys enjoyed okay so um i feel like i've still been consistent even like on all my social media platforms but it's just so much going on in my life right now so i just can't wait to share all the good stuff with you guys later on i feel like i've been becoming more open with my social media and sharing a little bit more of my life with you guys because i know so many people you know want to know more to me than just like the fact that i could do makeup and hair and a few other things you know what i'm saying so today's video i wanted to make it all about skincare now i know i got makeup on and i and you know normally when i watch skincare videos i like to see the person with no makeup and show the actual routine but i posted like my go-to products like acne products um in a video i think it was like two years ago now it feels so long ago i actually got a lot of positive feedback from that video because i have acne prone skin and i know the struggle so i figured why not just kind of like show you guys what i've been doing what i've changed since then um so i'm gonna talk about the products today and then i'll get into the actual skincare routine on what i do in the morning and the evening in another video my skin is looking so so good like knock on wood let's not jinx that but i know it has a lot to do with the products that i'm using so let's jump right in so for those of you who don't know or who haven't seen any of my videos i have combination skin so that means like i get oily here um but my cheeks tend to be normal to dry depending on the season like my cheeks get dry um more in the winter time um right now i feel like my skin has been pretty normal like i'm still getting oily here i've had that since i was literally like 12 i would always remember like my forehead being super super greasy and shiny but now i'm grateful for it because i don't really have fine lines even if i go like that i've never done botox on my forehead so see if i go like this i have very few fine lines so we gotta thank the grease for that so if you have oily skin you know what girl that's good it's it's real good i love a matte look like a matte makeup look and sometimes when you have your makeup on and then you get all greasy like it's not cute and as you guys can see, like, I don't do, like, shimmer highlights. I used to a lot when I first got into the makeup game. And I also think it has a lot to do with the timing of when the, like, beaming highlight was in. Some girls still do it. You know, you do whatever you feel like doing. But I personally love an all matte kind of look because my makeup's been on for a few hours now. And you could kind of see it's already getting dewy. I haven't touched it up or anything. So this is why I don't like too much shimmery stuff on my face because then i look crazy oily if it wasn't for that i'd be putting all that shimmer on but you know my skin just it's it gets oily so the first thing i want to talk about are my acne products the thing you want to keep in mind is that all products don't work the same for everyone you know you have to find a routine and something that works best for you and i know it sounds so corny and you hear the same thing over and over again but it's just really facts like everybody's skin is different everybody's body's different you know it just it really comes down to what works for you and it's taken me years and years to even find something that like works for me so and i'm constantly still changing my routine you know i try not to change it so so much because for me personally um the the more simple the better and after i show you guys all these products you're gonna be like simple <laughs> but i'll talk about that as i go on so let's just jump right in because i feel like i'm like rambling all right so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the acne.org benzoyl peroxide treatment this is a 2.5 percent i mentioned this guy in my last video i have been using this since i was pregnant with my firstborn so that was she's gonna be eight this year so that was you could say nine years ago because i was pregnant so i've been using this for a very 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 long time in the past i used to purchase the big one which looked like this this isn't the one but the packaging was like this there was a time when it worked great and then my skin started breaking out again and i was like on the hunt for the perfect product so i did dabble into other um 
things. I also used to use the Kate Somerville um, Acne Back Lotion, which I think is awesome, but it is a little bit on the pricier side. I try to keep my products, you know, too affordable, especially something that I use on my face twice a day. You know what I mean? But I always, always come back to this. And this time, you can see this one's new. I have like an older one that I'm using. I haven't opened this one yet, but I actually downsized to getting the smaller one. So this is 3.4 ounces. This big guy right here is a six ounce. And the reason why, to be honest with you, because this one's huge, it'll last you like a long time. But because I use it so much, I use it in the morning and in the evening, I started to feel like the consistency would change when I have bought the bigger one. So I started thinking, you know what, maybe I should buy the smaller one. And even though I'm in the long run spending a little bit more because I'm buying a new one, I also noticed that it's like fresher product. I haven't used any other acne product in the last like four months. So I just really been sticking to this. I know some people are very sensitive to benzoyl peroxide. You could also try salicylic acid. I hope I'm saying that correctly. For me personally, that never really worked for my skin. I need something much stronger. And benzoyl peroxide is always like my go-to, especially for that time of the month where they could get a little stubborn. Um, but I absolutely love this and you could watch my videos and if you've been following me for a very long time You know, I always talk about these products. So if you want to check them out, you could go to acne.org It's like a whole acne community where people recommend other products not just his products, but I swear by this I love it my ride or die and then the next product from that uh company is the glycolic acid the aha glycolic acid this is the 10 percent now this is also a new one i have the another one the same size that um i'm finishing up but you know this one looks cuter so i'm showing you this but this is another one of my go to like i cannot live without this product now what this does is it basically is like a chemical exfoliant now when i say chemical i don't mean like it's like burning your skin off you know what i'm saying but you know how you use scrubs to exfoliate the skin so this basically does that in the lotion without the scrubbing of a product if that makes sense so you apply this at night when using a product like this or any kind of acne products you want to make sure you use sunscreen because your skin is going to be sensitive to the sun when i get a pimple even if i don't pick at it or anything like that I still get a scar because of my skin tone and I just have hyperpigmentation skin. So this really, really helps with that healing of that pimple. Um, and I, I love it. If you never used this before, it, it it is like, it does tingle. I don't want to say burn, but it's not comfortable. Like I remember when I first used this, I was so close to saying, oh, hell no. Because it, it was really uncomfortable. This is not like some luxurious spa kind of treatment. Like, no, this is... It, it bothers a little bit at first so when i first started using this this is also nine years ago i started like every other day or every two days because i just cannot handle it it's not even so much that i couldn't handle it i just think i wasn't used to a product like this you know what i mean so now um i use it every other night and i'll explain why i do it every other night because i have accumulated a routine recently where it sounds like a lot of products, but as I do it every day, it's just easy for me. And to be honest with you, when you have acne prone skin, you have height maintenance skin. So you have to find a routine where it, it might not be that simple. Some people say, yeah, just put this one product on your face. And I've tried the works. And right now, whatever I'm doing, which is this, has been working. So I'm not fighting it. I use this in the morning and at night and this only at night. So I'll put this first and this after. And don't worry so much about like application. I promise you guys, I'll get into a video where I'm showing you exactly how I'm doing it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the products in case there's just one thing you want to add to, you know, switch up your routine or anything like that. So I hope I'm not like rambling too much. But when it comes to skincare, it's like so much I'm trying to explain. So for those of you who don't know anything about skincare, you could kind of understand what I'm saying. If you already know, then, you know, just, you know, it's just renewing this information. So the next two products that I've picked up, I mentioned this on my Instagram story, is the Ordinary, the Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. And the Alpha Arbutin 2%. Now, this bad boy I picked up because I started seeing so much about Alpha Arbutin, which I also believe is, I don't want to say similar to the glycolic acid, but it does help with 
um, renewing that skin and getting rid of dead skin cells and helping with hyperpigmentation because that's my biggest issue like I could get one pimple and it goes away but then I have that scar and then a couple days weeks later I get another one and then I got that scar and then it's like my skin would just never look clear clear because it's like I'm dealing with one thing after another so I started really trying to find products to target my hyperpigmentation um, so this bad boy I use only at night in between the nights that I don't use this. So I'll use this say Monday night and then I'll use this Tuesday night and then Wednesday night, Thursday night, if that makes sense. So I rotate them. It's been about three, four months now though. So I have noticed a real, real difference in the texture of my skin, the way it looks, the way it heals. So I really do think that this makes a big, big difference. I've been loving it. And I love that it has like the little dropper so it's like you just put it on and it does feel like a little bit slimy but it does sink in really fast too i haven't had any like burning or anything like that um if you're looking for something maybe not as strong as the glycolic acid you might like this because it doesn't burn or anything like that but so far i really really love that and then this i use in the morning so i'll use this in the morning and then i'll put this right after every morning if that makes sense so i add this because this also helps with hyperpigmentation um it's a brightening multifunctional brightening formula and if you guys read the back and all that stuff you'll get a lot more information it does say apply to the face am or pm to improve visible brightness and the appearance of skin texture i don't apply it at night because i found the products that i like to use at night and i just don't want to pile on too many products it almost kind of feels like a primer texture like one of those like smoothing kind of primers but i only use like a dot i don't use too much and all of these products you know you don't really need a lot so i really really love this i use this under makeup i have it on right now under my makeup as well as this and they work beautifully with makeup now i want to talk about what i've been using to hydrate my skin and kind of put that moisture back with what i'm losing with these products that could dry you out a little bit i've been using the derma e this is the vitamin c intense night cream and then this is the hydrating day cream now i saw um nicole guerrero talk about this vitamin c intense night cream she posted this on her instagram story i took a screenshot and then I was going through my photos, deleting old photos, and then I remembered about it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go. Look, I never really heard about this company before. I went in and I truly purchased a bunch of shit. Like, I went a little bit here because they're very affordable. I thought it was going to be expensive, but I ended up buying a bunch of stuff. And then this has been the stuff that I've been using um, often. So it's been a few months also that I've been using these products. I talk about them all the time on my instagram story as well so let's talk about the hydrating cream um it's hyaluronic acid and green tea so i use it in the morning and at night around my eyes and my mouth area and i truly truly love this i have no issues with clogged pores or anything like that i was very nervous that these products would like weigh my face down and stuff like that but I truly truly love it now sometimes before makeup I add a little bit of this or I'll just go in with my sunscreen depending if I'm going outside or not but I don't put too too much on before the makeup because I use the hydro grip milk primer and it's very moisturizing and stuff if I pile on too many products my skin gets it just weighs down my face I don't know if that makes sense but like I just feel like I'm clogging up my face so just for makeup but if I'm not wearing makeup then I'll wear this and i i really really love it it's so soothing and sensitive i use it literally around my eyes and i haven't had any problems with like burning nothing nothing I, this has been this is the third one that i've purchased this is also my third one now this intense night cream i use at night only so say it's monday night and i'm applying my um glycolic acid i'll let it sink in so first i'll apply let me show you so i'll apply this just around my eye area and my mouth you know i moisturize that first then i'll go in with my benzoyl peroxide i'll add my glycolic acid let it sink in for a few minutes and then i add this on top if i feel like my skin's been greasy throughout the day i won't i'll skip a night of this but so far i've been using this nightly and like i said a little goes a long way i mean i have like a little ass face so whatever but you still you don't have to glob this on you know what i mean and i also bring it down to my neck to moisturize i literally 
cruelty free gluten free 100 percent vegan like you cannot go wrong so far everything that i've tried from them and they give you a bunch of samples too i'm not gonna front like sometimes i get all these samples and like i want to try it but my skin has been behaving right now so i don't want to go ahead and fuck it up i don't want to like mess up my face and just try a bunch of stuff you know what i mean so i'm sticking to what works now the one thing i did try new like this is new i tried it like two times already but honestly guys i haven't been outside um i haven't really been like out in the sun so i don't always put sunscreen on i know that i should but now that i do plan to be outside more i am that's why i bought it but this is the sun defense mineral oil free sunscreen spf 30 and um i got this one because it is zinc oxide like that's the main active ingredient for the sunscreen i can't use chemical sunscreens which are like avobenzin or whatever i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but it has to be zinc oxide or uh what's the other one there's another one i can't remember the name of it right now but i only could use natural sunscreens because the other ones break me out so that's why i went with this now the only thing about this i like the texture and everything but it does leave like a white cast which you kind of notice with any natural sunscreen they tend to leave a white cast but i wear makeup and then if I'm not wearing makeup, I could care less about how I look. I mean, we have the mask over our face anyway. I really like the texture. It didn't break me out. And I plan to be using this all summer long because, you know, summer's coming. So that's why I was like, I got to get that. So I got the Revolution Pink Clay Detoxifying Mask. I spoke about this in um, one of my vlogs. I don't know. I was vlogging. But I talk about this all the time on my Instagram uh, on my story. And, guys, I love, love, love this mask. Like, you can see it's like it's used i use this with mask i don't really have like a every tuesday i'm gonna do a mask you know like i don't really do that i kind of just go with how i feel if i wore a lot of makeup or i had makeup on for a really long time i'm gonna throw on a mask you know it's kind of like what i do and then i also love the feed your face watermelon mask this is more of a hydrating mask so i place this around my cheek area and like it warms up as it's like hydrating I never knew that Makeup Revolution had really amazing masks. So if you guys, I really love the detoxifying one the most because I wear so much makeup. So I feel like I need to detoxify. I have to have a mask that really helps to just take everything out of my face, you know. And then once you wash it, like it's, you do have to kind of like, you know, you could take a cloth and rub it out or, or really just rinse it well. But you feel how soft your skin feels. And it also, I, I think it helps to like exfoliate the dead skin too. But I am so obsessed with this mask. And if you have dry skin, really check the Feed Your Face mask because can't live without them. The main thing that I've changed that I truly think was the trigger of my breakouts, not even makeup. I used to use the CeraVe um, hydrating cleanser. And for the longest time, I swore by that cleanser because it was fragrance free. You know, it didn't irritate me, or at least I thought, you know, for a long time, I used that, that cleanser. I don't even remember how long, but I just know I used it for a very long time. And it's funny because even with the stuff, I hadn't started this routine yet. But as far as like my acne products, like these two guys, I've always used this. And I, I think that's why I was on the hunt for other products because I would still break out and I couldn't figure out why. And I remember there was a time where I was like, maybe it's my cleanser. But, you know, I had been using that cleanser for so long, not thinking nothing of it. I don't know if they changed it or maybe my skin just was like, we're not having it more. But I started seeing on TikTok people talking about the Dove Beauty Bars, how they've been using that. And I usually I don't pay mind to those kind of like trends or anything that's coming out. But I was like, you know what? I personally love to use Dove for my body. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just give it a try. So I went out, I bought the white beauty bar from Dove and I gave it like two weeks and I stopped using the CeraVe. And I kid you not, guys, like within three or four days, like my skin wasn't breaking out in like those cystic pimples anymore. I even waited. I even waited to that time of the month because that was like the real test for me. And I got maybe like one tiny little guy on my chin and like it was gone. Like that was it. So I was like, holy crap. Like, and I really like I do a double cleanse when I'm wearing makeup. I love to use coconut oil. I also share this with you guys on my Instagram story. This is the Garden of Life Raw Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. And I use a washcloth and I just remove my makeup. Now, I don't know if this will work for everybody. Some people are allergic to coconut oil, but 
I've tried like actual makeup removers and they just do not work for me. They're too strong or they irritate my eyes or my neck. Like I just, I could not. So I've been doing this for years and this is what works for me. So I was continuing what I was doing with this and applying the Dove and my skin actually felt really nice and clean. I was like, Ooh, like I love this. So I, I did it for like a month with the Dove Beauty Bar. I ran out of that and asked my husband to pick up some more of the soap for me. He ended up getting me the wrong one. He ended up getting me the Dove Purely Pampering Coconut Milk. You know, man, you can't send them to do anything because... And I was so mad at him because if you are like a skin... You know, if you guys are big on your skincare, you know if somebody's bringing you the wrong product, you're like, what are you doing? Like this can mess up my face. But... I was like, I saw that it still said it was a beauty bar, you know, which usually means you could use it on your face. So I was like, all right, let me just try it. And that was like a mistake that ended up being like a good mistake because this is what I've been sticking to for the last like two months. And I love it. Like it smells so good. I don't know if it even has fragrance, guys. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is that if it doesn't break me out, I'm happy because that's my biggest thing is if it breaks me out. I think this is what really has made a major difference in my skin. If you guys haven't tried a beauty bar, I used to be so against like using bar soaps. Like I used to be like, oh no, like I need the cleanser, like a pump cleanser. But I don't know. I don't know if it's the time or if there's magic in these beauty bars. And this ain't sponsored. Like I swear I found this on TikTok. Convinced me to try. I'm like, what do I have to lose? Like if I keep breaking out, what's new, you know? Guys, my I'm not going to say like I don't break out at all, but it's nothing like the cystic acne I used to get. I'm so, so happy with my routine right now, guys. And I, I promise you guys that I'm going to show you exactly like how I do it so you guys can see. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of you have your routine. But if you have questions about any of these products, like let me know. One quick thing I want to mention also before. I also tried the Derma E Bonding Hair Repair Oil. I've been putting it on my hair. That's what I have now. I literally don't have any hairspray, which I probably could have used hairspray, but I just didn't feel like putting on any hairspray. And I kid you not, like, I love how my hair is looking and I plan to keep using this guy. I'll let you know. It's only been like maybe two weeks, but so far I definitely noticed a difference where it's not weighing my hair down and it's like my ends do not look frizzy at all. So I am really excited about this. Also, really quickly, I wanted to talk about my nails real quick. It's been, I don't even know how long it's been. Uh, it's been a, a couple, I think like two weeks already since I did my nails. I'm going to do another nail tutorial. Thank you guys so much for all the love you've been showing me on that. This time, I think I am going to switch up the length. I'm thinking of going a little bit shorter for my girls who love their short nails and want to visualize themselves doing them shorter. So even though I love, love, love my nails long, I think for the next tutorial, I'm going to go short, maybe short almond. I don't know. If you guys have a request, let me know down below. But yeah, I am so happy to have been chit-chatting with you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And leave some comments down below if you guys have any questions about these products. If you have any recommendations, put your girl on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.